Welcome to instructional video. Today we are going to install the MegaChange Retractor Graphic. So to begin, the first thing you want to do is unlock the graphic. Then you are just going to pull up on the graphic and begin to roll it. When you get to the end, the leader has a little magnet strip on it, so all you have to do is just pull up and it should just disconnect. So I'm just going to set my base off to the side. Now I'm going to take the top snap rail off of the graphic I just uninstalled. So I'm going to reverse how I rolled it. To uninstall the top rail, you're going to remove the end cap from the side you're going to slide the rail off of. So I'm just going to remove the end cap, flip open the rail, I'm going to slide my graphic out and put it off to the side. And then I'm going to replace the end cap just so I don't lose it as I'm installing the other graphic. Now that I got the end of my snap rail connected, the next thing I'm going to do is lay out my graphic. So I'm just going to set the leader off to the side and find the top of my graphic. Once I found the top of my graphic, the next thing I'm going to do is install the snap rail onto the top of it. So whatever side you're going to slide on to the top of the graphic, you're going to remove that end cap and have the snap rail open all the way. And then you're just going to gently slide it onto the top. Now you want to make sure that when you're sliding it on, it is going on even. Once you have the graphic completely slid on, you're just going to press down on the snap rail to secure into place and then replace the end cap. Now that you have your snap rail attached, the next thing you're going to do is attach the leader. So before you attach the leader, you want to make sure that you have shipping tape handy. So to attach the leader, you're just going to line up the end of your graphic with the adhesive strip on the leader, and then you're gently going to pull back the top of the adhesive strip. You're just going to pull it back just a small amount, and then you're going to apply the end of your graphic. Now you want to line it up and keep it even, and then you're going to work your way down the graphic, removing the adhesive strip, the top of the adhesive strip, and pressing your graphic into place. So to make sure I have my graphic completely stuck down, I'm just going to rub my hand along the bottom of the graphic. For added protection, the next thing you want to do is take a piece of shipping tape and go right along where you have stuck your graphic down. Now that I have my graphics securely on the leader, the next thing I'm going to do is install it into the base. So in the base, you're going to insert this bottom magnetic strip down into the base. And you want to make sure that you have left it unlocked. So I'm just going to insert it in, and you will kind of hear it click into place. Once you have it inserted in, you are going to lock the side of the canister and then you are going to turn to add tension. And adding tension, you'll hear the click. And your graphic will start to go into the base. Now as you're adding tension, you want to make sure you have your hand on the graphic so that it doesn't go shooting into the base. So what I like to do is give it a few extra clicks as it has gone into the base. And then I'm just going to test the tension. 
And it's just that easy to install your MagnaChange graphic. You're ready to move on to kit assembly. So to begin, you're going to remove all the parts from this convenient carry case. So the first thing you want to do is install the pole. So on the pole, there are two notches that you want to make sure slide under the metal pieces in the hole on the base. So you're just going to insert the pole in. The pole notches go underneath the metal in the bottom of the display, or in the bottom of the base. So once you have your pole attached, the next thing you're going to do is connect the top rail to the top of the pole. So I'm just going to pull up on my snap rail and insert it into the top of my pole. And then using the clips, I'm just going to open up the top clip on the pole and slide it up. Once I have the pole completely up, I'm just going to shut the clip. I'm going to open the second clip and raise the pole completely up, and then I'm going to snap it shut. And then I'm going to repeat this for the third clip. I'm not going to go all the way up on the third clip, I'm just going to go up to my desired height. And it's just that easy to set up your MagnaChange retractor.